there. All right, so that is recording now, and we can go ahead and pop this up. So now that is up. Come over here. And now you guys should be able to see my screen, right? You should be able to see me which I can't see me yet, so let me pull back up my webcam. And, all right, so there's that. Perfect, thanks, Scott. All right. <clears throat> here we go. We've got uh, quite a bit of people on here right now, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we are going to have fun tonight. I promise you guys this. This is going to be... The new step, it, it, it's, okay, hold on, I'm going to, before we even, I'm just going to start, let's just do this, um, screen recording, recording, and now journey to success with Pete Asmus, tonight, mindset to action steps and everything in between, we are about you, focusing on what you need to get to that next, that level. next level, so get ready, get excited, get excited. because we are are about to get started. From coast to coast, coast, to coast your, host, your host, Pete, Pete the, visionary the visionary Pitbull, Pitbull Asmus. Man, I just love that. And I'm getting better at being able to click on and off the uh, the echoes, right? Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, Journey to Success. Today is September 21st, 2014. And I am your host, um, as always, Pete Action Asmus. Now, I'm really excited about being here tonight. Um, Seems like last week I was going through a mental breakdown is kind of what I feel like. But you know what? Here's, here's what's cool about that. That's a good thing because I want you guys to see how real everything is, right? It's not just me sitting up here planning out what I'm going to say, right? And then saying it and, and going, okay, well, here's everything and it's all nice and neat and, and pretty and everything. That's not it. I'm, I'm real, and I'm going to tell you guys how I'm feeling. I'm going to tell you if I'm upset. I'm going to tell you if I don't think things are working, and I didn't. And now I feel like I got a much better grasp on what I want to do and how I want to, to, to put it out there. Um, I don't want this call to go anywhere. That wasn't the point of, of my, of my um, frustration last week. The, the point of my frustration was my expectations of what I wanted to have happen, they weren't happening. And so I needed to readjust either what I wanted to do or how I was doing it. So for me, it was all about adjusting how I was going to do what I was doing. Um, I love doing this webinar. It's not that I didn't want to do it anymore, but I do want different results. So we're changing up how we're, we're doing them, right? Um, and you guys are going to see really the first, the first episode of how this is all going to really break out and, and happen tonight. So I won't, I'm not going to keep you on here any longer than one hour. I promise that. Um, in, in fact, it may even be shorter than that. We're going to go through... Some, some different things. Tonight is going to be awesome because tonight we're going to talk about the three things, the three things that you can do right now to instantly improve your life. Instantly. I, I promise you, you impact and, and implement what I'm talking about, what I'm going to share with you tonight. You implement those right now. I'm not even saying implement them tomorrow. I'm saying implement them tonight. And I promise, I promise you, you're going to see some different results. So right now, he, here's what I want to do first. If you guys have the ability to, jump on and invite people onto this webinar. I want more people to come onto this webinar. So that's the one thing I'm going to ask you guys to do right now. I know over there there's an invite more people thing on your little blue tab. Click on it, copy it, go on Facebook, go on Twitter, and invite people to this webinar. I'm not, I'm not charging anything for it, but what I am going to ask you to do is help me bring more people to this, all right? So there's that. There's the fee for entrance. You guys are, are, are hopefully going to... Uh, to, to reciprocate, right? And give me just like I'm giving you. And I'm going to, I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to, I'm going to expect that it's going to be um, done for all of you guys listening on the podcast. What I want you guys to do is I want you to, to grab the link and to share the link and say, Hey, I'm, I'm listening to this podcast. Check it out right now. I promise you it's going to be a good time. Um, like I said, by the time we're done listening to this, by the time you guys are done tonight, today, whenever you're listening to this in a year, two years, five years, you guys are going to have a much better grasp on what to do. Now, the one thing that I hate about um, 
people bringing you into a webinar and giving you this really big hook, right, is they keep you on it for another 45 minutes before they give you anything. So I want to get into the first one right now. Stop wishing life was easier. What if instead you were better? Let's talk about that, all right? That's, that's, that's tip number one. Tip number one is constantly, we always think, whoop, go back, go back, easy, there we go. Stop wishing life was easier, and, and how about if we started wishing that we were better, right? I think that's a Jim Rohn quote, but I heard it yesterday, and man, I love it. I love it. How many of you guys right now are going, God, I just wish this was easier. I wish this was easier. I wish this was easier. I wish this was easier. Man, stop it. Why don't you just be better? How about that? How about you just be better? How about instead of complaining that it's hard, you get excited because the challenge is going to make you better at what you do. What about if we, instead of we looking, instead of us looking at things, see, you can see I'm excited about tonight's call. Instead of us looking at things in a negative way, right? And just wishing it was easier. It was, it was faster. I wish I could win the lottery. I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. Stop wishing and start doing. That's my, that, there you go. Stop wishing and start doing. That's it, man. That's my quote. See, everybody can have a quote and, and I don't care. I'll, I'll let it go another two minutes just if I can write this down. Stop, stop wishing and start doing. You know, the reality is, guys, there's so many things out there. There's so many directions you can go. Now, I've had a problem with focus, right? So I'm not going to say, hey, go run in every direction. That's not the point of it. But the point is moving in a direction, right? Don't research yourself to death. Don't sit there and try and do all these different things that, that, that may work, that may not work. I got to check this out. I got to check this out. I got, man, at some point, just take a step. Take a step and adjust, right? Take a step and adjust. If you don't like the direction you're going, change it slightly. It doesn't mean stop, turn around. It doesn't mean make a, a, a 90 degree rotation, right? It just means adjust. One of the things that they were talking about yesterday that I have actually, it's in my, my first book, which was keep your goal direct, right? Just like, I mean, make sure that the direction you want to go, what your dream is, it doesn't change. But the strategy to get there, it can. Who cares about the strategy? The strategy, look, if you want to be a painter, then being a painter is your goal, right? But don't say, I want to do this. I want to make a bunch of money and I'm going to paint to make a bunch of money. And then when you can't paint very well and make a bunch of money at it, you complain and go, my dream's gone. Well, if your dream was to make a bunch of money, then who cares if you're a painter to do it? Who cares if you're a painter, if you're picking up garbage, if you're, if you're cutting hair? I mean, who, what does it matter what you're doing to get to the goal? Does that make sense? Make sure that your goal, your dream is what you want. Don't make your goal or your dream the strategy to get there because that's stupid. That's, that, that, that will fail, right? That is where you're going to have a challenge. Because here, here's the thing, man. <clears throat> have you ever been kicked so hard that you felt like you couldn't get back up? Have you ever been, have you ever been, been failed at something so, so bad that you, you thought, man, this is, this is it. Like there's no, there's no coming back from it for me. I don't, I don't know where to go. Cause I've been there. I've been there. And I've, I've also been on the other side where I'm thinking, man, if I would have, if I would have not been there, right. If I would have given up, if I would have quit, whatever, I wouldn't have the joys that I'm having right now. So what I, my, my point behind this is there's, there's a drive, there's a level of commitment that you're going to have to have when you're going after something. Don't make that commitment all about the strategy that will encumber you and prevent you from really attaining your ultimate goal, right? If, if, if Scott's ultimate goal is to live at the beach in California, then, then really whatever he needs to do to get there doesn't really matter. If, if, and, and I'm just kind of bringing up an example, but if we're flipping million dollar homes, if we're flipping $300,000 homes, if we're, if we're flipping cash flow properties that are $60,000, it doesn't really matter. Who cares what we're doing? 
right? Because the real, the real joy is in that ultimate goal. It's in, that, it's in that living at the beach. It's in that whatever that ultimate goal is for you. And I'm not saying that's his ultimate, ultimate goal, right? But you get what my point is. Your lives, right now, you have the ability to change, to do whatever you want. And if we don't want to say change, we'll say progress, right? Because sometimes change can be a really bad word for people. It's a scary word. Change. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I got to do to change? What am I, so what's that, what's that change going to involve, right? There's all this negative, there's all this negative environment and negative <clears throat> connections to those words. And so the reality is you need to, you need to break that. You need to start looking at change as a positive thing. You need to look at change as an inevitable thing. You, you have to change. If you don't change, you will get past. You, you cannot continue to do things the same way you're doing them over and over and over again and think that, that nothing will change. If you made $5 an hour when you're 15, that's great. When you're 50, not so good, right? So if that has to change, you got to really realize everything is going to change, right? Nobody's going to pay you more money. <laughs> you okay there, Austin? Nobody's going to pay you more money. My, my dog is chilling in the uh, room. He wanted to be in here with us. Um, anyway, so stop wishing life was easier and start focusing on creating a better you. Stop wishing and start doing. Tip number one, I promise you, if you stop wishing, if you stop wishing that everything was easier, if you stop wishing that, that your life was different, if you stop wishing, because you're spending so much energy on what you can't change. You can wish all you want, but, but wishing, what is wishing? Let's talk about this. What does wishing actually get you? How far do you get when you wish? How far? What are you going to get? I wish this was like this. Great. Now what? Now what? Now what? right? Are you going to rub a lamp and wish what is going to happen next? Because that's what people don't do. Well, I wish, well, I wish, I wish, I wish it was like this. Well, what are you doing now? I, I, but I wished, I wished like 10 minutes ago. I don't know if you were there or not, but I wished. And I, and it was really, I mean, I really meant it. I was sincere when I wished and I prayed and then I wished again and I rubbed that lamp over there. And uh, so now what are you doing? What are you doing now? Now you've done that. What are you doing now? I don't, I don't know. I was going to go back to my life. How many of that, how, how many, how many of you say that? How many of you, forget say it, how many of you are doing that? You wish that this would be like this, right? And then you turn around and go away. And you go right back to your life. What are you thinking is going to happen between you wishing and going back and not doing anything about it? I'm just, I'm just curious. How do you think that that's going to help your life? It isn't. So stop wishing that things would be different and start doing something about it. It's not hard. And here's the cool part. You don't have to do it all right now. Do one thing. One thing. Doesn't even have to be a big thing. Let's say that, I don't know, let's say that you really wanted to start doing real estate at a high level. You were done playing games. You really wanted to be an investor. You, you really wanted to start getting involved in real estate, right? And you wanted to take the next step. But you don't know what it is. And people keep telling you, hey, you should go check this out. You should go check this out. You should go check this out. But you feel overwhelmed, right? Because there's so many different things that everybody's telling you to do. Here you go. I'll tell you this. You with me? You're on my call right now. So apparently you know something about me, all right? So let's, let's, let's go with that, that right now. And let's say, if you enjoy anything about what I'm doing, realize that the people I put around me are more amazing and, and more incredible than I am, all right? Now, that's like, I won't ever admit that to their face, so don't ever bring this up because I'll tell them there's no way because um, I am way more cool than anybody else that I am around. But that's just the cool factor, right? So when we go to the actual, like, just amazing people that I have, 
they're incredible. You want to start really taking your life to the next level and, and really get involved in real estate and do something about it? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 6 p.m., all of our webinars are at 6. Tomorrow night at 6 p.m., we have bird dogging opportunities with Scott Travis. Right there. That is an action you can take right now. Get on that call. Register for that call. Get on the call tomorrow and take action. Listen to what he says, right? Let's say you're about to get into a rehab. Let's say you're in a rehab and you don't know what's going on. Things are going sideways. Get on the call and talk to Scott. He even has a, a, a rehab service too that, that he can look at your deals and, and it's all about empowering you to make sure that you're keeping the most amount of money you can in your pocket. Isn't that what you want to do? I mean, if you're going and doing a rehab, if you're going to start getting into real estate, how many of you actually want somebody to walk you through the deal? Because I've heard it over and over and over again. I want somebody to walk me through. I want somebody to walk me through. I want somebody to walk me through. Okay. And then everybody will go and pay $35,000 to all these gurus that don't walk them through. I'm just saying. They don't. So why then would you not want to take advantage of a service that Scott's put together it's only $500 for a deposit. And I think it's like 5% or something. I, I'm not sure exactly what the, what the price is or anything else, but the reality is it's way less, way less than $35,000, I guess, unless you're doing like a $5 million rehab, then I'll, then I'll refrain that that wouldn't be true. Then it would be, it would be like that much. But if you're doing something normal, right? $30,000, $40,000 rehab, it's not going to be anywhere near that anywhere near that. You're talking maybe a, a thousand, couple thousand dollars, right? And this is something that you can do now that walks you through the rehab. Walks you through it. Doesn't do it for you. Walks you through it, right? But how many of us are afraid to take the next step, right? Which leads me into point number two. Point number two, stop giving up your happiness for feeling good. Whoa, what is, hold on, what does that mean? What do you mean by stop giving up my happiness for feeling good? That doesn't make any sense. Well, let me explain to you. <clears throat> let me explain. Let me explain something to you. There's two yous, right? You know, you have the, the yin and the yang, right? Let's, let's talk about, you could say, spiritual and physical side of you, right? You could say your inner voice and your outer voice. I mean, however you want to word it, there's two of you, all right? And one of you is sitting over here, and the other one is sitting over here. Now, the, the, let's say physical and spiritual, let's say the physical side of you, right? The physical side of you wants to feel good. Physically, that's what we want. But the spiritual side, it can see further, right? So let's take weight loss. How many people want to lose weight? This was such a big breakthrough for me yesterday. How many people want to lose weight? A ton of people. I did. Over and over and over again, wanted to quit smoking, wanted to lose weight, wanted to do all these things, right? Now, I've done those things, but it took an awful lot of willpower, okay? And, and here's the difference. Willpower is pushing, right? When you have willpower, you need to push something. When you have passion, you're being pulled. So you don't want to push, you want to get pulled, right? And we'll talk about that in a second. But happiness is something where you say, you know what, if I lost weight, and I was in shape, I would be happy, right? How many of you guys could raise your hand and go, you know what, if I was in shape, I would be happier. Happier, not, not, maybe not, and maybe not completely, you know, banged out, just happy, okay? Maybe that wouldn't make you completely happy, but how many of you would be happier? Happier. So, everybody, all right. Now, what does it take to really be in shape? Well, we've got to change the way that we eat, right? We got to eat differently, okay? All that food, sometimes it doesn't taste good, right? Because pizza's not going to be on that list. Um, hamburgers aren't really going to be on that list. You're going to have healthy food. Well, healthy food doesn't always taste as good as junk food, does it? It doesn't. So the body wants to feel good right now. The spirit wants to be healthy and feel good later. And so you set up this, this path of, I'm going to change, right? But then the physical body, it keeps fighting with the spiritual one, right? Going, look, man, I feel like crap right now. I don't feel good. How are you saying this is making us happy? I'm not happy. Not happy. And because we can't pass through that or push through it, we're giving up being happy to feel good. 
Now, what happens? So we eat the junk food, right? And then what happens? Then now we feel guilty. Now we start to get lethargic. We're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. Now we feel bad because we just went against like the direction we really want to go. We went against being happy. And we know that this isn't going to make us happy. So now it's like we start to give up. We start to go, this is crap, man. I can't change. How am I going to change? Look, I just tried to do it over and over and over again. And because we start to get that mindset, it starts to unravel us. Are, are any of you guys having any breakthroughs right now? Because I'm telling you right now, to me, this is, this is gold. You want to talk about changing? You do and apply this instantly. You can change your life right now, right this second. You can go, hold on. Is this going to make me happy or is this going to make me feel good? And which one do I want? Because here's the power. Now you have the knowledge. Now you have the knowledge. You understand what it is. So now you are to blame. I'm sorry, but it's the case. Before you didn't understand this. Now that you understand this, you have that responsibility. You know that if you want to really do this, if you're, if you're saying, you know what, I'm not... I wanted to be in shape. I wanted to lose that 10 pounds, but I really want to eat this junk food right now. And I know that this is going to make me feel good. This is going to make me happy. This is going to make me feel good. I'm choosing to feel good. So if you choose to feel good, you're completely to blame now. You, not, you understand the way it works. I've just given you one of the most powerful tools of change right there. The ability to have the wisdom to do something with the knowledge. Look, understanding, having the knowledge, the knowledge is great. But if you don't have the wisdom to understand how to use the knowledge, it's useless. If I tell you, look, man, 1.25673. Well, what the hell does that mean? I, I have no idea what that means. I just made that number up. But it could be something important, right? What about if there was a locker, 28, 32, 64, right? Having the knowledge of those numbers is great, but if you don't understand what they go to or where the lock is and what's behind the lock, it's useless. So having knowledge is great, but if you don't have the wisdom to apply the knowledge, I, what are you going to do with it? I mean, it's, it's, it's completely useless. So that was number two. And I got to hurry up here. Okay. Number three. Some words have been used. Um, I, I, you know, the easy button, right? It's, it's been replaced and, and we've re-spelled it to, to work hard. How many of you guys out there are just looking for that easy way? You're looking for, for a gift. You're looking for a way that you don't have to do anything, right? You're looking for that magic bullet. And it doesn't exist. Just... If you stop looking for that, if you, would, if you would work as hard towards your goal as you do to be lazy or to be easy or to be whatever you want to call it, you'd be where you wanted to be, right? But how many of us, for instance, let me give you an example. Have you ever lost the remote to the TV and you knew you're watching a show, right? All of a sudden, it's eight o'clock. And you know that whatever you want to watch, CSI Miami, or I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't watched TV in so long. I have no idea what's on TV anymore. But I'm assuming CSI Miami is probably still on, right? So CSI Miami is on and I, at 8 o'clock, right? And you're like, oh, I got I to gotta turn that on. And, and so you look for the remote. And it's on Channel 7. You know it's, what channel it's on. But, but where's the remote? You can't find the remote. And you spend 15 minutes looking for the remote. Instead of taking three seconds to walk over, beep, change the channel to channel seven and sit back down. How many of you are so busy looking for the easy way? You've completely passed. I mean, you've, you've surpassed the amount of work it would have actually taken to do it right the first time the right way. Because you're so busy looking for an easy way. You're so busy looking for a shortcut. You're so busy looking for how you can do it and it's not going to really be any work that you're, you're missing the whole point. I don't know. We're going to talk about more of these things tonight, um, but these, those were my three things that you could do right now to instantly 
start changing your life, to instantly start getting better results. Now, if you don't think that those are good things, then, then I'm sorry, but I think that they're brilliant. Um, and if you do think that they're great, then, then please talk about it and, and share with us. I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to stop and look over here. I haven't had any chance to, to look over. Um, and just so you guys know, I don't pay attention anymore. And this is awesome too. We've jumped up to, to 35 people. So I know, I know some of you guys are sharing and that is awesome. And I appreciate that. Um, but I don't really look over here anymore. Um, due to the fact that now I'm kind of recording everything, I pushed over the questions, so I've got to I've got to take my my chances and and go over there and look at them and then go through them. So I'm going to do that again, and then we're going to jump on to what we're going to focus on tonight, which is really focusing on your outcome. And I think that everything that I just talked about really lays in to focusing on your outcome. But what I wanted to do was show you guys how I'm changing up the webinars. We're going to start to to do things like this and. At the beginning of the call, I'm going to go into some, some strategy, some tip right away, right off the bat, that is accessible and actionable for you guys right now. I want to start giving better tips. Look, I told you last week I wanted things to change, and I said I'm going to take responsibility, so I'm changing. And with that happening, I expect you to change too. And if, I, if I'm not giving you what you want, then man, light me up, stop me, and say, hey, I want something different. That's not the information that I need. I need this. But if I am, I definitely expect you guys to share these webinars, to share this, to get out there on Facebook, to pump this out, and to start helping us build this brand. Help us build these webinars, right? We, I, I don't want to be talking to a wall. I want to make sure that what I'm doing is impacting lives in a positive way. So I appreciate what you're doing there, and I thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run over here, see if I've got anything out. Thank you very much for the tweet. Um... Oh, this is a problem, though, because I can't see very well. All right, wishing and hope. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, so we are all good to go. We're going to continue on now. And um, here's, here's something that we have. If you guys haven't heard about it, if you haven't seen it, we've got the 21-day challenge. Now, I'm probably going to start altering this up, and I'm going to probably make it a lot longer than 21 days because I've just been hearing a lot more things. And so I, I might end up making it like a 60-day challenge. Because that's apparently, it takes that long now, according to Keller Williams, to, to, have, to form a habit. I think it's 67 days. Um, and I want you to have a habit. Here's what's cool. My children write their goals every single day. And, and they've already filled up one full notebook with writing their goals every day. Um, both of them can read better. They can write better. Um, there's so many really positive ways that, that this is helping them. But I want it to help you too. Now, what I'm going to say is, if you don't want to put it out there on Facebook, don't. You don't have to. But I want you to be writing your goals every day. You don't have to share it with the world if you don't want to. But you need to be writing your goals because it's going to keep you on point. That's what I care about. I only wanted you to put it out on Facebook because I couldn't tell if anybody was doing it or not. And it was frustrating me that I didn't know if what I was asking to be done was being done, if people were getting results. I need to have to have uh, feedback. I need it. I need feedback. So for me, as long as you guys give me feedback, I'm good. Tell me what's working. Tell me what's not working. Help me help you. That's what I want to do. All right. So I'm asking you for help. I'm, I'm putting myself out there. I make myself vulnerable on every single one of these things. I, and that wasn't being vulnerable, but you know what I am referring to. So I'm asking you to help me grow this because I think that it's a big benefit. From the people that have responded to me, they've all said that, that they didn't want this to go anywhere. Even though that's not what I meant, I had, I had probably 15 people write me and say, please don't, don't cancel the webinar. Like, it impacts my life in a positive way. It starts my week off right, da-da-da-da-da. And that honestly was awesome. I mean, I, I don't want to discount that at all because it just was. I hadn't had a response like that. And that makes me want to come back and do even better. Look, I'm just like you guys. I can't just sit there and, and, and keep pouring out the, the, the pitcher, right? And have nobody refilling it. And for me, when you guys talk about it out there on Facebook, when you share it, when you, when you write us and you tell us how it impacts your life, that is filling back up our pitcher, all right? And that's helping us take it to the, to the next level. So here's what we got for this week. Now, I don't know if all of you guys got done last week. Last week was all about scheduling. That impacted my life in a huge way. Um, I got so much more done with, with having a schedule. I got so, I mean, and I mean, and I don't feel bad about saying, look, I've got 30 minutes. 
That's how much I have scheduled. Like we've got to get it done in 30 minutes. If not, I, look, I don't have four hours to do this. My life is getting a lot more scheduled. I'm getting a lot more done and I'm becoming a lot more effective. That's what I wanted. Now, I'd, I'd be really interested also to hear how you guys did. Um, for all of you that did do it, please write over here and, and let me know. All right, so here's what we're going to do this week. This week, you're going to still do the schedule, but you don't need to go down to the minute now. Um, I just want you to go down to the hour. Schedule out your weeks by the hour, right? 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, um, or by the half hour if you need to. And then what else I want you to do is every day, note the times when you choose to, to pick happiness over feeling good. Now, that's a rough one, all right? I want you to start being aware of these moments. I want you to start realizing success is a choice. Listen to what I'm saying. Success is a choice. What do I mean by that? What do you mean? How do you mean? I, look, I choose to be successful, right? Okay, nothing happened. I'm not successful. I chose it, but nothing happened. Well, it's not a big choice like that. Success is all the little choices that you make. You want to be, let's take weight loss. You want to be successful at weight loss, right? And I want to be a success. I want to be thinner. I want to be, I want to lose weight. And you say that and, oh, this is awesome. Woo, right? And then you get off and you go over and you're like, man, I'm hungry. And you go and you eat a Twinkie. And then you eat another Twinkie. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm not going to have any more of those. And then you go over here and now you're eating chips and chips and chips. And it's like one little thing here, one little thing there, one little thing there. Why? Because we want to feel good. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make us happy. And so we've got to make all these choices during the day that don't make us feel good so that at the end of the day, we can be happy. See, if all day you were making different choices like eating an apple instead of eating a candy bar, you were um, drinking water instead of drinking a soda, you didn't choose to drink alcohol, um, you chose to eat less red meat, right? If you were going to choose to eat meat, you chose turkey or, or maybe chicken. You started making these choices that, that weren't fun. They weren't fun. They weren't. It didn't taste better. You weren't all excited to go out there and start drinking almond milk instead of, oh, wait, that's me. Never mind. Um, that's dairy, though, and I still, I'm way against dairy, too. But you start making all these little choices, right? And then you go and you weigh yourself at the end of the day, and you've lost three pounds. And now, you're happy. You see, we give up being happy consistently to feel good. But we don't really feel good. We feel good for a fleeting second. Happiness lasts. Right when you when you get off that when you get off that weight loss right and you and you and you looked at yourself and you're like man I lost ten pounds and you feel great do you think that that just goes away tomorrow hell no you're looking in the mirror going I just cannot believe this I can't believe I look like this and you keep staring at yourself and then because of it it keeps getting better and better and now man I can eat I can get healthier I can get healthier I can eat better I can eat even better if I can get these results I can eat even better and then you do it again and more and better and more and better but you guys aren't even getting to that point because you can't even get past the feeling good. You can't get past, I want to feel good. You can't get past the sacrifice. That's what's sad. That you're preventing your happiness because you're not willing to sacrifice what isn't good for you. What isn't good for you? It's not even like I'm saying... I'm saying, hey, don't drink water. You need to drink this crap over here that's really unhealthy for you. That's what you need to drink that, that's going to make you sick and make... I mean, you're choosing to destroy your body that isn't... I mean, when you logically think about this, it's insane. It's insane. On paper, this doesn't make sense at all, does it? It doesn't. But why do we do it? Because we get addicted. Because we get addicted to right now. 
because we're not looking at the bigger picture. That's that seriously. Like when I, when I heard that yesterday, I was like, Oh my God, that's so much easier now. Like when I get hungry and I want to eat that cookie now, it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I want to be happy or do I want to feel good? I want to be happy, man. I'll put the thing back. I don't, I, I, it's like, I got this power now. What I didn't have before, that's why I was so excited about this. That to me, that is one of the strongest things that you can have is power of knowledge. When I realized to lose weight, I realized that 500 calories equals one pound of anything. Just 500 calories equals one pound. And that if I depleted my diet by 500, if I, if I basically, if I burned 2,500 calories and all I took in was 2,000, I would lose one pound of weight. That's the way it works. It is what it is. It's math. I, the, nobody can say anything different, right? Now, if you stop eating, you're going to die. I mean, yeah, you're going to keep losing weight because you're going to go all the way down to, to, to nothing, right? Um, but the reality is that you have to do something. You have to, you have to put yourself out there. You have to, you have to really go after your, your dream and and not let anything get in your way. Stop letting all these little things, these excuses and everything else hinder you. When you understand what it takes, you can do anything. You understand it. You've got the code, for lack of a better term. You now know that when you go to eat lunch tomorrow, Breakfast tomorrow, dinner tomorrow. Let's, if that's your thing, you want to lose weight. And I know some of you listening, I know some of you are like, I want to lose weight. I've seen it on your goals. You now, I'm, I gave you the magic key to lose weight. You have that power. Do you want to feel good or do you want to be happy? How many of you right now are, are as excited about that idea as me? I'm just curious because to me, that is an amazing thing when I heard it. And I want to share it. It's not mine. I, I just want to share it because I think it's, I, I want to give you guys tools like this because that tool is powerful, man. And it's free. It's something you can use every single day if you want, right? All right. So <clears throat> that's our task for the day. Before I get, maybe, thank you. Um, all right. So here we go. Questions are the key, right? We talked about this. What is communications? Here's the other thing that I'm excited about as I'm just kind of going through these. You guys can read them. Um, tonight's the final chapter of this book. So next week, we are starting a whole new thing. And nobody has any idea what I'm doing yet. Um, but this is going to be the next thing that, that I'm doing on... Well, of course, it's going to be the next thing. But meaning... I'm not going back to force your dreams. I'm not doing questions are the key over again. I'm doing a new one. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be exciting. You guys are going to really, really be enjoying it. If you like what's going on tonight, you're going to be loving how this is going to change now. Be loving. I don't know. You're going to love it. It's all good. Um, so becoming limitless, right? The mindset of opportunity, communicating your way to success, how to create urgency right now, living a solution-driven life. And tonight, here we go. Focus, 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 focus on your outcome, all right? That's what you guys need to do. Focus, to do. focus, focus on your outcome, okay? Why? Well, whoa, hey, here we go. Okay, apparently I didn't fix all this, so we're going to just go with it. Um, it all comes down to this. Look, everything that you're doing, everything you're doing, when you get involved in anything, in an argument, in a conversation, when you have a meeting, Tomorrow morning, focus on your outcome. When you get into an argument, when you get into a conversation with somebody, are you focusing on the outcome or are you focusing on right now? How am I feeling right now, right? We're getting caught up in the emotion of the moment instead of focusing on the intent. What do you want to have happen? And I've said this in conversations before, like, like argument, I'm like, hold on. Just so I'm clear, what do we want to have happen by the end of this conversation? Are we, are we making it so that we're never going to talk again? Is that, is that the direction we want to go? Or do we want to go to where we're, we're excited, we're happy, and we want to do business together? Which one is it? Because right now, we're heading down the, I'm going to hang up and never talk to you again. That, that's, that's the direction we're going. And I've had people stop and go, okay, I'm sorry, you're right. You're right, I'm sorry. And it's weird, it'll, it'll readjust everything right then and there. 
I mean, it just, it stops everything cold. Because everybody stops and looks and goes, okay, what? All right, he's right, right? And even it's me. Sometimes it's me too. And I'm like, look, man, I got to stop because right now I, I got to know where we're going because I feel like I, I want this to go this way. And I'm starting to say things and move it in a direction that's not a positive direction. So what is it that we want? When I focus on my outcome, I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable because pride doesn't get in the way. My ego doesn't get in the way. Because when I'm focused on the outcome, I don't care how I look. I care where I'm going, right? When I'm focused on the outcome, when I'm thinking, man, my daughter wants to meet Keith Urban. I don't care that I'm waiting out in front of this dude's car, you know, at 40 years old in a suit, hoping that I, I see him pull up so I can get a picture with Haley, um, with Haley's sign, just so I can make my daughter feel good. That's not something I would normally do. And I felt really stupid standing by his parking. I just felt like a fan, right? And it's like, I don't even listen to his music, but my daughter loves him. What are you willing to do when you're focused on the outcome? You don't care what you look like. You don't care what you're going through. You just care about getting to that outcome. What if you started focusing your life like that? What if instead of worrying about how we look and how we act and how we feel and how this and that and this and that, all we focused on was, what did we want to have done by the end of the day? Where did you want to be? Do you even plan your life like that? Do you even look at today and go, okay, I woke up. What do I want to have done by the end of the day? No. I wonder why you're nowhere by the end of the day. I mean, you don't even have a plan for it. Even if you're writing goals for a year away, you're still, you don't have a plan for that day. Start planning your day. That's the other thing I want you to do this week, every day. Write down in the morning, just real quick, what in one sentence too. Doesn't even have to be a big long one, just one sentence. What do you want to have done by the end of the day? What do you want to accomplish? Where do you want to be? Because man, it's going to give you a hell of a great focus for that day. One sentence. Can't be five, can't be 10, one sentence. Because one sentence really means probably one thing, maybe two you can squeeze into one sentence. And I don't mean a run-on sentence that's as long as a paragraph. Because if you write one thing, right? If Scott were to write, I'm gonna get one property in KC. If he were to write that, every day, if he's looking, man, I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna take longer than a couple days before he's like, all right, this is crazy, man. I keep writing this stupid sentence and it's not happening. I gotta make it happen. Why don't you start writing a sentence that'll make you crazy? Write a sentence that'll get action to be taken. Start doing different things so you get different results, guys. That's what tonight's all about. Look, in the end, right, what do you want? What do you want? Write that down. What do you want and write it down and then make it happen. See, everybody wants to, I'll think about what I want, I'll write it down, and then they don't take any action. Stop wishing, start doing. Think it, write it, say it, do it. Think it, write it, say it, do it. Stop wishing, start doing. Think it, write it, say it, do it. Stop wishing, start doing. Look, these are mantras that should be in your head. And the next one should be, man, every morning you should wake up and say, <laughs> am I doing everything to be the best me I can be? Am I doing everything? Am I doing everything right now to be the best me I can be? Because... If I was operating in that best me, what could I accomplish? What could I make happen? I promise you, it's way more than you think when you're all depressed. It is. Think about a time where you felt kicked and thrown to the ground. You just felt like you failed. I mean, right after you felt like you failed, right? Like you did something and it's like, man, your boss lit you up, your family, whatever. Whatever it was, right? How... Remember that feeling right now. Man, it just goes into, ah, oh, your whole face sinks, right? Your shoulders droop. You kind of push over. You don't, I mean, if I were to say, hey, let's go run a marathon. Mm, I don't want any, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do anything, right? All of a sudden you're slow moving. No, 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 right? And then you start to sound like. Like, like, like Scott, uh, right? So now you start to sound like this and nobody wants to talk to me and all this stuff, right? And then, now I want you to stop, all right? Break that thought. And now I want you to go and think about a time that you 
absolutely did your best, where people were cheering you on, really think about that moment right now. I mean, dig into it. Dig into that moment that that you did something so amazing, you never thought you'd be able to even do it. I mean, you didn't think you'd be able to do it, and you did it. How amazing did you feel right then, right? How great do you feel? Now, what could you accomplish right now? With that feeling, what could you go do? How many of you are living in that first feeling, though? How many of you are spending even 50% of your life in that first feeling, that feeling of defeat, that feeling of helplessness, that feeling that, that nothing you do matters, right? That place sucks to be, and I've been there. And the one thing that you can do to change that is focus on your outcome. Because when you focus on your outcome, you're not focusing on where you are, right? I didn't say focus on where you are. I said focus on your outcome. And it's amazing what you can do when all you do is focus on that outcome. Think about kids. They want that cookie. They don't care what is going on. They don't care that there's blood coming down their arm. They don't care that their clothes don't match. They don't care that their hair is a mess. They don't care that they smell. They don't care that they're dirty. They don't care. They don't care about anything, man. They want that cookie. And they will ask over and over and over and over. And how about now? 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 And what do you eventually do? Oh my God, Jesus, take the fucking cookie, man, here. Have the cookie, get out of here, just leave me alone, right? Kids, no, man, I will bug the crap out of you until you, I get what I want. But, but you don't. You don't bug the crap out of you until you get what you want. You may ask once, but you don't even ask yourself like you believe it. Hey, do you think we can maybe do this? And then you're like, oh, I don't know, man. I tried it before and it never worked, so probably not. And so then you just don't even try. Because you're not focused on the outcome. You're focused on the process. You're focused on what you think you can or can't do instead of just focusing on the outcome because there's many people that have done it before. And if you really want to do it, I promise you, you will find somebody that's done it and get on their back and learn how to do it the right way, even if it costs you money to pay for it, even if it costs you time to learn it, even if you have to be an intern, it won't matter. If you really want it, you will figure out a way to make it happen because if I take every single thing away from you and I take you and I put you on the street in, say, Chicago where you know nobody or nothing, I promise you, you will end up eating. You just will. Even if you're begging for food, even if you're, you're, you're begging for money to buy food, you will figure out a way and you will stop worrying about what you look like, what you sound like, what you think. You won't even care because you're going to go into survival mode. I got to eat. You guys aren't in survival mode. You should be. If you're not successful, you should be in survival mode. You should be freaking out that you aren't where you want to be. You should be doing whatever it takes to get there, just like me throwing you naked in, in Chicago with nothing. You're going to have to find clothes. You're going to have to find food. You're going to have to find money. You're going to have to create a way. Or maybe I take and put you in a third world country where you don't know anybody. I promise you, you will figure out a way to make it though. So if you will go through extremes like that, then why won't you step up your life right now when you don't need to? That's really the reason. Because you don't need to. Because you're just fine. Because it's impossible to focus on something unless you know what it is, right? It's impossible. I can't focus on that unless I know what it is. I got to know exactly what it is. How am I supposed to focus on it? How can I focus on success if I don't even know what that looks like? How can I focus on making it if I don't even... How to... Focus on one step at a time. Nobody's asking you to build the pyramid in one day. Nobody's even asking you to understand how to engineer the pyramid. But if that's what you want to do is build a pyramid... You don't need to build it all at once. Go grab one block and put it down and grab another one. By the time you get to a place where you need help, I promise you, if you put together a whole entire base, you're going to be drawing attention to yourself. And there are people that are going to want to come in 
and help. That's how it works. Now, I know you don't know what I mean because you've never built the base. You've never gone past far enough, right? If I go all the way back to our, our very beginning, it goes all the way back to here. Hey, come on. Stop wishing life was easier and start wishing that you were better. Stop wishing that everything else was just laid out for you. Stop thinking that you're entitled to anything but hard work. Stop thinking that you're entitled to anything but fighting for every single inch that you get. Because why are you any different than anybody else? Because it's certainly not easy for me and it's not easy for Scott and it's not easy for Ivan and it's not easy for any of the other 13, 14,000 people in, in, I think Marietta, has, I don't know how many people it has, but it's not easy for any of us. So stop thinking that it's going to be easy for you. It isn't. And all the bullshit that you go through, we all go through it. All of us. All of us. No, but you don't go through. No, we do. No, yeah, but you don't, you don't understand. Like, I've run out of gas. Believe me, I get it, man. We've been through it all. In fact, there are people that have way bigger challenges than you do, than I do. So we don't have any room to complain. I talked to somebody yesterday, Steve Jennings, who, who was, uh, <laughs> he was, he was on his way to the Olympics, got, got hit by a car in a, in a, in Germany or something. And it took him 13 years, years to walk again. He is now rated as one of the top 10 decathlete or pen pen i don't know man five events um decathlete he's a decathlete um he 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 ran in the olympics uh, a couple years ago in his age uh i think because he, he's like probably 50 60 something like that right so it's not in the the regular ones but it's in his age bracket he's ranked in the world ranked took him 13 years to walk again what kind of complications do you have in your life that are so challenging? Are you learning to walk again? Has it been seven or eight years that you've been learning to walk again? I mean, my God, seriously, at year 10, how do you keep going going, I don't know if this is ever going to work, man. You have got to be dedicated like there is no tomorrow, man. Willpower like to the 19th degree. Let, go tell him a, an excuse that you have of why you're not getting where you are. See how far that goes. It's all about perspective. It's all about perspective. And stop giving up your happiness to feel good. Right? I mean, at some point, don't you need to step up and go, I want to be happy? I mean, that's, that's kind of part of, of maturity, right? Is, going, is knowing the difference between feeling good and happiness and being able to make an educated decision right? I mean, that's, that's how I feel. Look, we've got webinars. Here's what's happening this week in our, in our, uh, in our shows. Bird Dogging Opportunities is happening tomorrow night. Uh, webinars, I'm sorry, on the radio show, it's, it's us talking about uh, everything. Kind of motivational Monday is, is really where I'm going with Mondays on Coast to Coast. Tuesday, we're going to have Jillian Sedoti on, our resident attorney. Women, Entrepreneurs, and Life is going to have a really cool guest on that night as well. Um, I don't want to give too much of a way because I'm about to, to throw out the whole thing. So I'll, I'll let you guys see all of that. Wednesday, I'm promising you guys this. Bob Diamond, amazing. They have a program that they find the overages for people's houses that have been foreclosed. And, and you might not think that that's going to happen, but in, in uh, auctions, if they go for more than the foreclosure amount, right, that money is now owed towards the homeowner. They have figured out a way to find the overages and the homeowners and put them together. So do not miss that. That is going to be an awesome webinar. And in fact, we're going to go even more into it on Experts Corner on Friday night. And you'll find out how you can get more involved too if you want to, get, um, if you want to do that. Uh, Money Matters is going to be happening on Thursday night. And on Thursday during the day, we're going to have AJ from Moron. So that's going to be cool. 
And then on Wednesday night, we'll have the power of SEO. So that's kind of what we've got going on this week. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff happening. The radio show, as always, Monday through Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific. Um, we have our call-in numbers, uh, the deals, and that's that. There we go. Um, so with that, here is, uh, by the way, if you guys want to check out my daughter's book, Queen Alopecia, um, that is an awesome book, and it's an awesome cause. And they're actually raising money uh, to be able to give away to charities in December and to raise money for their goals that they want. Um, one of them wants a tablet and the other one wants a bouncy house. So if you feel so inclined, go check that out too and, and support them. It would be awesome. They would definitely appreciate it. So I want to give them a shout out. Now what I want to do real fast is open this up to any questions if you guys have any. And if you don't, I'm okay with that as well. Um, but if you do, go ahead and raise your hand and I will unmute you. It's that simple. Um, all right, what else do I have before I go? And if you want to, you can write it down too. And by the way, I'm only going to give you about another minute and then I'm, I'm, I'm closing this. So if you're trying to figure out how to get on your computer and ask me a question, go for it. If not, that's okay. Um, again, next week, when we come on, it's going to be a brand new series. We're going to be going over, I'm going to start going over really good actionable information that you guys can do every day, kind of like how we did it today on the first part of the show. I'm going to just start going over tips. Um, I'm going to I'm going to do a different type of series for at least eight weeks and see how this goes and see if maybe this is more of what people really need. And what I was doing just wasn't wasn't really the right hook. So hopefully we'll figure something out. It doesn't look like anybody has a question, which is awesome. Guys, thank you so much for being on tonight. I appreciate it. We are three minutes early. So like I said, Less than an hour. Oh, I could have done that. Guys, thank you so much for being on tonight. I definitely appreciate it. This is Journey to Success with Pete Asus. Make sure you share it everywhere that you can. Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, everything, man. And get up and go make something happen. Guys, let's go. Have a great day. Go make something happen. Write your goals and take your life to the next level. You don't need January 1st. All you need is today. Bye, you guys. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for being here. Very cool, C and D. I don't know what to call you. It's C and D Noonan. That's all I ever see. And it, it's like, I is it Chris? Is that what it is? Because I can't. Uh, all right. Well, at any rate, thank all of you guys uh, for being here and being on tonight. Have a great night. <laughs>